reason? Should kick off any, any second. Hey, today we're closing out this season of Flavorgasm the same way we came in, with pizzas. Stay tuned. first episode of this season we had a pizza party I mean basically we just a few people but we made four different pizzas using the Ninja Turtles pizza maker that Donald and Wendy had gotten me for my birthday God I can't believe it's been May since we shot that wow. anyways we're making pizza again uh, not doing that many <clears throat> just gonna do uh, a pizza that I tried for the first time when I made it in that episode, we're going to do a margarita pizza, a little bit different, and I'm going to do another one that uh, is just going to have some stuff on it because that one I'm just going to be making shit up. I don't even know what to call that one. But they're going to be good. I think the other one will be good. I know the margarita will be. So it's time to make some pizzas. So I was going to make a dough for this, but... Uh, I came across this crust, Tuscan pizza crust, made with an aromatic mix of rosemary and parsley. So I thought this looked pretty good and, you know, not uh, promoting the brand or anything or getting paid for it. I've used this before, this brand of crust, but I saw this and I was like, ooh, I gotta try that. So that's what we're gonna make the pizzas on today. Let's get to getting some ingredients together. Okay, I've got the sauce already on the pizza. Uh, it's just a, it's a marinara, uh, it's a marinara sauce or pizza sauce that I made recently for a, a baked chicken spaghetti that I did. Made a lot, I saved some for the pizzas. Um, you can go to uh, the episode where I did the ultimate stuffed crust pizza. You see me make a sauce on there. I make one on the uh, the TMNT pizza party episode also. Uh, two different kinds. We've got a cooked version and a, a raw version. This one's cooked. It's a, just a little bit different than I usually do. But any sauce will work if you want to buy a store-bought or anything like that. So I've got it on here and I've got some... Uh, slices of fresh mozzarella cut up some fresh ripe Roma tomatoes all right this pizza is ready to go into the pizza maker let's get this pizza in here Oh yeah, I think we're there. Mm. Looks good, smells great. Throw on some of this uh, fresh basil. I love the smell of fresh basil. And of course, drizzle of olive oil. Okay. 
And there it is, the first pizza is done. Uh, gonna let that cool before we bite into it because it mozzarella is like molten lava right now. I guess I don't need to close that. I can just leave it open. Okay, I think this pizza is cooled down enough. We can get some of this. Oh. What do I want? I want this piece here. Donald, what are you going for? <laughs> um, take the time, please. This guy. Oh, that, good. that smells so good. It's gonna be hot. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. Be open. Oh yeah. He has some cheese dangle. A lot of herbiness in that crust. It's amazing. Still a bit warm. Edible. Mm-hmm. Really good. I didn't do um I didn't put actual tomatoes on the first margarita I did. Mm. It was just a that fresh tomato sauce with the mozzarella mm. and basil and olive oil. Yeah. I kind of wish I would have got one more, more tomato. <laughs> tomato yeah. works really well. Mm. Killer. I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> mm. And I had pizza for lunch today. <laughs> I can eat pizza all the time. I had Popeyes. Had a pork chop biscuit from Hardy's this morning. Pretty good. <laughs> but it was like. Mm. Mm. Splendid, so splendid. Mmm. Alright, when you just get to the crust itself, so much flavor. Really herby. You know, that rosemary, mm -hmm. first thing. I think it's what first thing I taste even in the take a bite of the pizza. That rosemary. Mm. The parsley in the crust is a little after note through the rosemary and basil. That was outstanding. Now, let's get started on the second pizza. It's gonna have meat on it. Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay, it's time to build this second pizza. Wait till you see what's going on in this. There's all kinds of stuff. So I've got, again, the sauce already on there. Lay down some mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella cheese. Something like that. <coughs> and now I've got some uh, garlic and herb goat cheese. I'm just going to crumble up on here or lay big chunks <laughs> Hush. I was going to use a basil pesto as a sauce on this one but I think with the, the herbiness in that crust that would have been just way too much especially that goat cheese has herb in it too <laughs> herbs now for the meats I've got a couple of uh, Italian meats 
I've got uh, capicola and prosciutto. Uh, capicola is a dry cured Italian pork. Uh, prosciutto is dry cured ham Italian. Next I've got some uh, roasted red bell peppers. And a nice little uh, smokiness to it. And I'm going to finish it off with a little uh, wedge of Asiago. So there's that one. Let's get it on the pizza maker. Okay, the second pizza is done. Can't wait to get into this. Now, I had considered putting like caramelized onions on it, but decided I didn't want to mess with it. So, uh -oh. for a little extra topping, should we choose, wrong ones, the fried onions. So, crispy onions. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a few on top. You want some on yours? Yeah. What piece do you want? That one next to the other one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> How about that. Mm, big old chunk there. All right. Over. Oh, drizzled on my pizza. Oh. This is gonna be amazing. I hope. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Mm. Mm. That's a pretty killer combination. I might. That almost tops your margarita. <laughs> a little cheese bowl. Mm -hmm. That's killer. I know what it's going to be like, but. I'm very pleased. Mm. Oh, that cheese, so gooey and mm -hmm. <clears throat> those roasted red peppers. Dropping crispy onion. Mm -hmm. Those add just a little. Mm. Very good. Almost like a sour cream. Mm hmm. Or no. Cream cheese. You get you get that tartness from the the goat cheese mm -hmm. with the the garlic and herb in it. You get that herby rosemary and everything in the in the crust itself. Then the mozzarella cheese. Um, a little a little bit of stank on it with the with the Asiago. Mm. <clears throat> the roasted red peppers. 
the capicola and prosciutto, man, that's a winner. That's good. That turned out even better than I expected or hoped. And those crispy fried onions on top, just a little mm. te crunchy texture to it. That's a good pizza right there. That is damn good. Uh, I forgot to call that the the Italiano Extreme. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll tell you, meat and the, I mean, not that goat cheese is really Italian, but I guess it can be whatever you want it to be. That's a good pizza. You got to try that. Check it out. And margarita pizza, too. It's a pretty simple one. Um, well, I'm pleased. Yes. Very, I'm, I'm, very, very good. Yeah. So, um, this is it. Uh, we won't see you again until about around mid-April when it'll be grilling season. <laughs> Finally. God, it's been a cold winter. So, <laughs> it's almost over. Today's Groundhog Day. He saw it six more weeks of winter, which is always dumb to me because it's going to be that long anyways. <laughs> He always is it. So thanks for watching this season if you watched. And uh, we're going to take a little break. We'll see you back in April out by the grill. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your pizza. Try that one. Do it. <laughs>